What is this? It's him. Who's there? Can't you read the sign? It says do not enter. <gasps> you. A kid. What are you doing here? I'm in charge. You? In charge? You there! Search upstairs! The rest of you, we'll sweep the prep chamber. This way, Snake. Hide there, in that locker. What? Just do it! What's going on here? The preparation chamber is for authorized personnel only. Miss Elisa, are you alone? Have you seen anything suspicious around here? No. Is there something wrong? We received a report that there's an intruder in the lab. Someone also reported seeing a suspicious truck nearby. Well, there's no one here. Just me. And him. You're disturbing his sleep. I'll have to ask you to leave. Yes, ma'am. If you see the intruder, please notify us immediately. Now I've seen it all. A little girl in charge of an outfit like this. Why did you help me? I don't know. I just got this feeling that I needed to. And how do you know my name? Are you with the Fox unit too? No. But your uniform... <laughs> it's... it's not like that. When I saw you with the heliport with Cunningham and the others... That was my sister. Sister? Her name is Ursula. She's the one who's a member of Fox. I'm just a medic. You're pretty young. Well, you were out on the battlefield when you were my age, weren't you, Snake? Or should I say, Big Boss? <laughs> Ursula and I were raised in an East German lab. They sent all the kids with ESP potential there to study them. My powers are pretty weak, but Ursula is different. She's one of the most powerful psychics in all the communist world. Through special training, Ursula gained great power, but in doing so lost everything that makes her human. So much so that she can't even talk with me anymore. Four years ago, Jean took us away from East Germany. He was on a mission from Fox. The CIA wanted to get its hands on ESP from the communist bloc. And then you joined his little revolution. Yes, that's right. So, this is what you were calling the perfect soldier. Does he have ESP too? No, he's just an ordinary human being. That is, he used to be. He was raised in a special way, under very special conditions, to be a great warrior. He's incapable of emotions, or doubts. He's the ultimate combatant, created with one purpose only, to accomplish the mission. He has no human memories. The only thing he has left are his skills in battle. No memories? Each time he completes a mission, he undergoes readjustment. Like this. Inside the culture tank, all five senses are shut out completely. Most men would go mad in minutes. Like a baby who's coming into the world for the first time, the perfect soldier's sensors are honed to a razor sharpness. He can read the enemy's movements and learn them faster than any normal person ever could. What kind of person could endure that kind of extreme training? Nobody, of course. The perfect soldier project ended in failure and was abandoned. He was the only success. That's why they gave him the code name Null. He's a lost number. He has no feelings and no memories, not even a project number. Don't even think about fighting him. You can't possibly win, Snake. Hmm, you could be right about that. Or you could shoot him now, but you'll have to go through me. I'm no assassin. Shooting a soldier with her guard down isn't my style. You're a good man, Snake. I knew you were. Here, take this. It's a drug for treating chloroquine-resistant malaria. How'd you know? <laughs> it's time. Bring the tank out. I trust the readjustments are complete. Sorry, it'll just be a little longer. I'll send a man in to meet you. Hurry it up. You can get outside through here. Head for the harbor. You'll find what you're looking for there. You must be psychic or something. <laughs> One last thing, Snake. If you find Ursula in front of you, don't hesitate. Shoot her.
shoot your sister? If you can't do that, you're already dead. All right, next time, let's try for a more upbeat prophecy.